guys, so welcome back to another episode of Hello Talk. Talk. So it's the time of the month again, and today we're gonna share with you guys some period hack. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but I shared in a previous video, also on Pillow Talk with Debbie, that I had my period at a really young age. I was nine years old when I got my period, which is like super, super early. So I had my period at nine years old, <gasps> which is, yeah, quite young. And back then, I was the only one in my social circle to have my period first. So I was very clueless and lost. And that's why I am here today to help you tide through such horrible times. Okay, I got my period at 12, which is, I think, is an uh, average age for mm. a lot of people. But the one thing that I face up to today is that whenever I'm on my period, I tend to have really, really bad cramps mm. and it hurts to the extent where I can't get out of bed and I feel so exhausted. So that's why we are here today to help you get through such tough times with 10 different types of period hacks. As you guys know, in the beginning, I already mentioned that I have very bad cramps. Mm -hmm. So this was a hack that I started using since I was a kid, ever since I first got my period. And last time, I used to do it all the time that my mom used to question what, what I'm doing, which is having a sock, which is something you definitely have at home, guys. Just get a sock and some rice, just rice that's uncooked, you know, the ones where you bring in from the supermarket, you open it up, you scoop a cup of it and you can put it in your sock and then you place it in the microwave for as long as you want but obviously not too long, okay? But you place it in the microwave for some time, maybe 30 seconds and then it's something that you can use as a heat pack. It's a DIY homemade heat pack and it's something that I feel is super easy to make in the moment. Not everyone has a heat pack on standby and right. this is what I've been using since I was a kid. It works, especially for all you guys um, who just got your period and you don't really know where to get heat packs as well. Super easy, quick, and, and cheap. doesn't cost anything. You basically have it at home. That's right. Okay, so one such problem that I face when I'm on my period is that I'm always worried that my pad lines will show from the back. Do you understand what I mean? I do, and sometimes I try to wear seamless underwear, but then again, it doesn't always help. That's right, I, I have the same problem. So, like for me, especially on heavy flow days, I always feel like I have to wear bigger pads to you know prevent leakage and they tend to be a little bit more lumpy in nature that's why i think it's always better to get a pad that's really thin and one such brand that carries such pads is actually from laurier so they have this pad called the super slim guard so cheryl this is the pad and it's really thin right it's really thin mm -hmm. yeah it's so thin. actually when i use this pad right even when i'm wearing body con dresses they never show which is why i love it so much so i always turn to this brand especially on my heavy flow days recently i tried this uh laurier super slim guard cool range so you know how you when you eat a mint right mm -hmm. and then you have that like cooling sensation when you you know right, yeah right. this is the feeling but it's down there girl like you oh my god girl i need to try <laughs> this out for myself yeah. and it smells good too wow hey this is a really innovative product so i don't know if you know this about me but i'm a very odor sensitive person i'm very very sensitive to smell and i'm very cautious about body odor mm -hmm. so when i'm on my period right i'm even more cautious because everywhere i go especially on long days i i do uh, drive around so when i drive i get stuck in a jam and and I'm here and there, you know, it's, it gets me really, really frustrated and tensed up. So I just feel super cautious about my smell. Oh my god, it smells like mentos. See, I told you. It smells I'm like a little bit. Feeling, guys. Yeah, it has this little bit Are of. You? Whoop! Yeah. Minty smell, if that's a way to put it. I can understand what you mean by feeling suffocating and sweaty down there. Especially with our weather, and it's so hot and heaty all the time. Mm -hmm. This is great. So, the next thing we all hate for sure is surprise periods, right? And he comes knocking on the door! Yes, especially <laughs> when you're out in public. Which is why I'm a very strong advocate of using period tracking apps. So, I actually have been using one for the past like one plus years of my life. And it helps me to log my cycles. They will kind of like estimate when your period comes so that on the days leading up to it, I will tend to pack my bag with like an extra pad so that you know when it comes, at least I'm not caught in a situation where I don't have a pet on me which can be quite frustrating. Yeah. Oh and another thing that I really like about period apps is that they help to also estimate your ovulation cycle so you know when are the days that you can you have higher chances of getting pregnant if you want to be pregnant and when are your safer days to you know have intercourse. So yeah I guess it's really really useful especially if you're an adult. The benefit of technology that's right guys 
Okay, so as natural as periods are, we all can still be a little bit embarrassed to go and change our pets sometimes, right? Especially in like a school setting or like classroom setting, you know, in the middle of class, yeah. you have to go get up and go to the toilet and then you have to like, kind of like dig through your bag and secretly put the, the pet in your pocket. Yeah, no more embarrassment, okay? So I actually came up with, with this hack myself when I was in school. So the good thing about this is that you're actually partaking in recycling. So for Save instance... The world. Thank you, Cheryl. Um. So for instance, right, you eat finish your candy and you have like the plastic container left. Don't throw them away. You can redecorate it into like a little pet container. So what I actually do is I actually store my extra pets inside. So you know when I have to go to the toilet urgently, I can just you know immediately pick it up from my bag and put it in my pocket and no one will ever like suspect me of having to go and change my pets, you know what I mean? Yeah, and if you have a bigger container, for instance, like this one, it's great because you can not only store your pets, you can also store like extra or spare underwear in case your period comes surprisingly and you know, you get some blood on your... Below the leakage? Yeah, correct. So I feel like it's really, really useful because no one's going to be like, hey, what's that in your candy jar? You know what I mean? <laughs> so actually, I wanted to test how far, like how slim the pads really were for the 0.1 cm one. And just look at this little casing that I have for my pets. And even like, I could even store like one entire pet inside and it's only so small. So I really, really think that the pets are like great and they're so small and handy to bring around. Mm. So another hack that I use when I'm having really bad cramps or feeling unwell is using essential oils. So technically what I do when I'm having a really bad period cramp is I maybe put a few drops um, at my lower abdomen and I rub it so it makes me feel better or if uh, let's say at night I can't sleep I usually drop a few drops of essential on my pillowcase oh. so I actually can sleep well it helps me relax you know mm. relaxing is really important on your period and the one mm. thing that you need to know is that you have to have lots of rest correct so sometimes your cramps might stop you from having a good rest so essential oils do help mm. you should try it I would. So, there are some women out there who actually double line their pets and what that means is to actually wear two pets, so one on top of the other. Instead of, you know, carrying one spare one in your bag, you just wear both simultaneously. Yeah, once you have filled up the first one, you kind of just tear it out and then, you know, you already have a spare one at the bottom so you don't have to like, you know, change it again. So I guess it helps save that little bit of time or I guess in some circumstances, like for example, you are going out for an event or like a really long day and your bag is super packed or maybe you're only carrying like one small clutch you can you know just do this method and yeah you don't have to bring an extra pet so if you wear like the usual thick pets together right it'll feel really stuffy and uncomfortable which is why you should like use a pet that's a lot thinner so that you won't feel as uncomfortable if you really do try out this hack Anyway, when I was younger, I had this phobia and I still do up to this day where whenever I sleep at night, I fear that my, my period would leak out and my whole bed would be covered in my same, period blood. Same. Especially when you're using white sheets, right? And the thing is that back then when I was 12, I didn't know that bigger pets existed. Mm. So I just actually honestly discovered the, the world of night pets maybe two years ago. <laughs> and before this, I actually used to use towels underneath my, my my entire body when I slept so it's just towels and towels but again towels may not be the most comfortable choice so for the past few months I've actually been using the L'Oreal Super Slim Guard in the 40 cm because usually girl I like to have it like big like extra big I don't care if my flow is like a uh, small flow or big flow or heavy or not I like to use the biggest in the collection when you sleep right yeah okay. and you know what's the best part about it so for the past few months that i've been using this right i didn't ever need to wear a towel number one because it's so comfy so the back is also really white and i'm a big um i favor pets who have a wide back mm. so it covers up till my butt as well Correct. because Correct. when you sleep your sleeping position is uh, is flat and when you wake up in the morning when you stand up that's when your flow will gush down usually girls can you relate yes so that's when the blood will go everywhere and with this it has never leaked and it's super absorbent guys the best part is this is 200 times ultra absorbent and it's still 0.1 cm. So it's ultra thin, ultra absorbent, and it's super duper comfy to sleep in. 
Jess, mm -hmm. do you exercise when you're on your period? No, I try and stay away from exercising, even though I know it helps, but I'm just like too tired and exhausted. But I know it's a great thing to do. La. Actually, it really is. So for me, right, when I'm on my period, I feel really tense. I know I said it just now. I feel super duper tensed up and I feel like everything is crashing down on me. So when I don't want to feel that way, I always motivate myself and you guys should do this too. Not only when you're on your period, but every day, work out when you're on your period. Personally, uh, working out is different for everyone. So I don't go to the gym because I got no mental motivation. But what I do is I actually go for spin classes, which is cycling, indoor cycling classes, mm -hmm. where you spin to a song. And if you're a person who exercises all day long and you love being active, you shouldn't let your period stop you from it. All right, so if all else fails and you really end up with a stain, my advice to you is to use baking soda. So about one year back, I actually discovered the amazing wonders of baking soda and how much it can help to remove stains. So you can actually just put baking soda on the stain with a little bit of water, rub it in and let it sit for a while, maybe like five to 10 minutes, wash it under like water and see if the stain goes away. Most of the time, it will kind of remove up to like 90% of the stain. So this will actually help you to salvage the underwears that you unfortunately left a stain on. Also your bed sheets if you ever have a leak from the night before. So don't throw your stained underwear or bed sheets with the rest of your clothes into the washer because that can be quite unhygienic. So always just take the time to patiently wash it out because it can be successfully removed if you are just patient enough. And that is the end of all of our period hacks. To make your next period better, we've actually teamed up with L'Oreal to give away three of these hampers to three of you guys. All you have to do is to go and follow Ladies First and L'Oreal on Instagram, like our photo and also leave a comment telling us what your favourite period hack was. So we'll pick our favourite comment and good luck. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to watch our previous video. Remember to subscribe and, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye.